Welcome along once again to the Star Sports video blog. It's Capital One Cup final time. And after a period out the side, Lofty's been showing some improvement on the training ground. <laughs> He's been thrust back into the first team for this romantic cup final. Who says football's not romantic anymore? 2004, Swansea were still in the fourth tier. 2002, Bradford were in the Premier League. But a few quid going one way or the other and it shows what happens in football these days. But what a story we've got. I think we start with ball boy gate <laughs> because we've got to get it done and out of the way. And uh, personally... I better say I say how I feel. 40 years ago, Norman Hunter would have caved that kid's head in. The crowd would have stood up and applauded and everyone would have got on with the game. So uh, maybe we shouldn't go back that far, but what a ridiculous scenario we've been left with. Just seeing the ball boys on a bit of time wasting. Glenn Hoddle said once about they got the ball boys trying to do time wasting before, so you know nothing changed in the game. And as for the dive we took with a kick in the ribs, well, I must have been learning from it. Well, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely right, because you know my most disliked person in the history of the world is Glenn Hoddle. So <laughs> if you're going to rely on Glenn Hoddle for your character reference, you can go back in the reserves right now. <laughs> OK, <it>. sorry. <laughs> right, back to the serious stuff. It is the Milk Cup, the Little was the Run Below, the World Capital Team. One, the World... It's the, it's the League Cup final. Run Below. Run Below, Sunday 20, <laughs> Saturday 24th of February. Sunday. Sunday, right. Capital One Cup, <laughs> Sunday, 24th of February. Swansea against the mighty Bradford, the giant killing Bradford. We bet Swansea 2-5, to 7-2 to the draw, and 7-1 to one Bradford. Lofty, find me the value. Ooh, I mean, Bradford have been a right fire to this competition. I think the draw could be a bit of value, actually. Bearing in mind, every single Bradford game bar one's gone to extra time or penalties. They beat Watford after extra time, Burton after extra time. Obviously, the penalty shootout against Wigan in the um, the quarter fight in the uh, fourth round. Obviously, the memorable one against Arsenal in the uh, the quarter final. Let alone after beating Villa in the semi. So they certainly um, do it the hard way. Bradford started off on the eleventh of August this competition. I think a few Premier League players are on their summer holiday still on August eleventh. And Bradford were kicking away in them, getting through the first round of this in front of a uh, three men. He's dogging it's not County. So it just goes to show the romance. And exactly, they're, they're they're away fans have had a few fun day out, unlike me and you travelling all over watching Exeter and Portsmouth <laughs> lately. Yeah. Never, didn't think I'd ever be jealous of Bradford fans. Well, I think Portsmouth's fall from grace will nearly be as big as Bradford's when you see them playing. And you know, thinking they were in the Premier League in two thousand, remembering the old. Uh, last minute goals against Liverpool to keep them in the league on the last day of the season and the likes of Benito Carboni and Lee Sharp coming down with them it's been a the long room, way down from there I mean. the rumour on the street was they were still paying Carboni in 2004 yeah. when, they were in, when they were in the fourth tier but mm. we're not here to talk about Benito Carboni or uh, any of the other foreign stars at the time for me if these two were playing in round one or round whenever Swansea would have been more shorter than two to five you've got yeah. to concentrate on the prices uh, I think Swansea will win the cup. I definitely think they'll lift the trophy. I think it'll be a tight, edgy game. Bradford's league form has been built on their uh, ability to keep clean sheets. And for me, under two and a half goals at even money would be my angle of a bet. Swansea one nil or two nil is eleven to two. So I'd probably back those two small, and I'd have a decent bet on the under two and a half goals at even money. Yeah, wouldn't disagree with that. And also Swansea actually have played at Wembley before in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. They've won that a couple of times. So. Even at a much lower level, they've got the experience of playing in the big stage and you know in front of a big crowd at Wembley. And you just think Premier League experience will show through in the end. Sure, and... Surely it will. <clears throat> well, if you are the romantic and you want to see either team win on penalties or you just fancy a long afternoon in the stadium or in front of the box, Swansea are fourteen to one to win on penalties with us here at Star Sports, and Bradford are sixteen to one. But I mean, it'd be lovely to watch Bradford win this cup. Uh, I don't think it'd ever happen again in our lifetime if they did a Div fourteen winning no. it, but. For me, Swansea to lift the trophy, boring I know, but the angle is a low scoring affair and it'd be even money under two and a half goals if I had to have one bet. And for you, Loft, one bet? But you can't see beyond Swansea really, I know it sounds, uh, I'm trying to be a romantic you say that, draw, Loft, but... Take your time, <laughs> you don't want to be back in the reserves for the FA Cup final video, no, do you? I think I'll be pretty safe here, I think, you know, I think the, the wrong match has come to me in uh, Bradford, they've enjoyed a day out of Wembley, but you've just got to see Premier League quality of show through, and Swansea really, really should win in 90 minutes. A 50,000 to win 20 for Lofty on Swansea, and an yeah, even right. one on uh, <laughs> under two and a half goals for me, but with whatever you're back in the uh, Capital One Cup final on Sunday, the 24th of February, for myself and Lofty and everyone at Star Sports, we wish you all the best of luck. Awesome.